Okay, so now I want to work on this uh, watercolor sunset of uh, trees at twilight, basically. And I'm going to go to stage two, all right? So if you look carefully, there's a couple things that I've done to make changes in this. The first thing I did was I left the bottom of the paper white, all right? Because I knew I was going to put something down there. And what I wound up putting down there, and you'll notice I've drawn across the top, okay, of the sunset. All right, I've gathered some information up there. I've also retaped my paper, but I haven't taped my paper down to the board. I didn't like the, the way that it puckered, so I'm gonna let it breathe a little bit more as I go. I'm using an HB pencil and a white plastic eraser. I'm gonna use three brushes, two medium wash brushes and one very big wash brush. I have re, re-wet my watercolor, all right? And by that I mean, I stirred up the bottoms because it sets. There's a little bit of sediment that forms on the bottoms. All right, you kind of have to add more water to it uh, to reset it. Then I poured it off and I actually added more color after I poured it off. And what I did was I increased my concentration so it's gonna be darker, all right? I still have my extra wash buckets around just in case I wanna clean my brushes as I go. Now the drawings I chose to use for this, this uh, arrangement across the bottom of the horizon there are tree drawings I had from one of my sketchbooks, okay? I literally grabbed a couple of them and placed them in a pretty exact manner. You'll also notice that I started to redraw some of my tree branches, all right? They're gonna get painted pretty much black anyway, so it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna go back over the top of that. I also wanted you to notice this one section down here where I actually started to erase a little bit of the pencil line. You can erase pencil off your watercolor paper through a wash of thin wash of watercolor, or if you put a thin wash of watercolor down, you can erase it off completely, all right? It, it should just leave a little bit of a shadow, not too much. So that's where we're at right now. So what I'm going to do now is, let's see, first thing I want to do is actually close this up. I'm going to close my sketchbook and move that out of the way. Okay. Then I'm going to move my color over here. Move that over here. Move my color in front of it. So, and once again, I'm going to paint right across it. But I'm going to go lower this time. And there was a little splash that just happened across the bottom. Don't care. If, if that happens and you want to get rid of it, it's pretty easy, actually. Um, you can do it a variety of different ways. So I'll do it like this. Just thin it up a little bit. And that won't affect anything at that point. So now that's that's an accident that just went away. So I'm gonna go back to doing this. More concentrated, there's an extra fiber there. Get that off the side. Um, I'm not afraid of this. Going back and forth in different directions. I'll take it right to the bottom. So I rinsed my brush out twice. Okay, I, rin I rinsed it in that water and then that water. Now I'm gonna go get some of the orange. Right over the top. I might draw some of that down. Back and forth a little bit. Don't push too much, but back and forth a little. I may draw it down if I want to. If it puddles, I don't want it to puddle. I want it to be smooth. I'll probably draw it down a little bit. 
then go back over it. Barely holding the brush. I mean, I literally have the brush barely in my hand. Same drill. Clean it once. Clean it twice. Now maybe even clean it a third time up in there since I'm gonna use some yellow now. So go get the yellow. I just want a hint of that. Tint it north a little bit. I want less of it, so I'm gonna actually palm some of that off with a, with a brush that has no color on it at all. I'm just gonna draw it off. Okay, uh, last one, same thing, same drill. Clean it once, clean it twice, clean it three times, in for some really rich blue. Now, I'm in for some really rich blue, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start in the opposite direction because I want my darkest portion to be up here. This brush drips a little, this brush drips a little more than I like. I forgot that. And I might even stop short of the yellow. I'm gonna clean up any excess water I have, which I just did there. Push it to the side, push it off. Probably gonna take a little bit of water now. I'm gonna take a little water with that brush I just used and I'm gonna separate those two forms. that leaning up against this thing. Now, it has puckered. I even dripped I even dripped a tiny bit right there. Not that it matters. It's not going to be there. It won't be there much longer. In fact, if I want to get rid of it now, I can get rid of it now if I want. So that's stage two. And then depending on how this dries, I will begin to work my darks over the top of it. I'm gonna control it a little bit. There's some excess that's happened here I don't want. By excess, I mean a little bit of the yellow is getting stuck in the corner here. I don't like that. So I'll get rid of it. And I'll go back in and I'm gonna give it a little more blue. And what you notice is, is that it's starting to blend together really nicely. So, um, anyway, that's step two and how I'd go about uh, working on this.